live from Orlando, Florida, it's theCUBE, covering Accelerate 19. Brought to you by Fortinet. Welcome back to theCUBE, live from Orlando, Florida at Fortinet Accelerate 2019. I'm Lisa Martin, joining and welcoming to theCUBE for the first time, the CEO and president of NoviFlow, Dominique Jordan. Dominique, great to have you joining Hi, me on theCUBE at Accelerate. So here we are in Orlando, uh, talking about all things cybersecurity. Yeah. Just came from the keynote session uh, where Fortinet was talking about how much they are innovating, what, how they're leading from a competitive perspective, what customers are saying, why their security fabric is so differentiated. NoviFlow is one of their security fabric ready partners, but before we talk about that, why don't you take a minute or two to describe to our audience who NoviFlow is and what you guys are doing in cybersecurity. Yeah, so it, we, we came in a little bit by accident with cybersecurity. We, we've been uh, founded seven years ago. And uh, the idea was to create a very programmable networks. It's a, very much in line with what we heard today at the keynote. And uh, we became a, a technology leader in that field, the SDN, Software Defined Networking. And uh, three, four years ago, uh, customers started to use our product, obviously for a cybersecurity application. We didn't even know about that. They don't necessarily tell us. And we spent a bit more uh, focus into it. And uh, over time, we started to work uh, with Fortinet, for example. And now we have uh, developing this great relationship, great uh, solutions also for the, for the customers. So one of the things that we understand uh, from Fortinet and from all of the conversations that theCUBE has globally is, is that digital transformation is fundamental to every business yeah. to compete, right? But as is IT secure transformation and security transformation, yeah. very challenging to do. As businesses, and you think of any industry, financial services, yeah. retail, consumer packaged goods, as they expand yeah. digitally, so does the attack surface. So exactly. one of the things that Fortinet talks about is it's not enough anymore yeah. to have these uh, point solutions pointed at different, you know, on-prem, cloud, edge, that the entire infrastructure as it's changing and the attack surface is expanding has got to be protected more from an integrated perspective, this notion of the, of the um, security fabric. Yeah. Talk to us about a fabric ready partnership, what that means to NoviFlow. I know that's only in the last six months or so, so walk us through what you did to become a fabric ready partner and what it is that you and Fortinet are seeing in the market as challenges that you're helping to resolve. Yeah, what we see actually is, uh, I like to decide, uh, define that as a battlefield. You know, the, the attacks are, uh, are being waged really and, uh, and the battlefield is the networks of those carriers, those uh, government agencies, large enterprise, et cetera. And uh, those, those companies are not really taking advantage of their position because in fact with the right uh, network fabric, the right tools to be able to react, they could actually be very much more powerful. So this is where we are working with Fortinet to equip those customers with solutions that are much more agile, uh, more programmable, because the network is also evolving. Uh, it's not only that the, the attacks are, are broader, they're also changing, the nature of it is changing. And the fact that we came from a, a background of working at the edge of the networks, mostly, and we would, I wouldn't mention that before, well, we deployed typically at the large tier one carriers all around the world. So I mentioned a few, Telstra Group, uh, we had deployed at the Hutchison Group, uh, Changhua, et cetera. And also at two of these uh, five eyes, so government agencies that are uh, engage in fighting these attacks. So, so we come with a background of working in a decentralized uh, approach anyway. So it was a very natural evolution, uh, the work we've done with the Fortinet so far. So what we built so far together, we built some uh, integrated solutions. Uh, so far we have two solutions that we are demonstrating uh, to customers. The first one is to allow the large, uh, it tends to be the larger customer of Fortinet that are making the transition from a, a, an existing appliance to virtualized solutions. That is an area where we are very effective at uh, helping them to scale. And those would be for customers that would have, uh, say, 100 gig of traffic or more. So with, with Fortinet, we built a, uh, 
an on-demand uh, solution. It's an integrated solution that enables those carriers to, or those customers, could be other kind of customers, to gradually grow the number of VMs that are used in real time for doing whatever cybersecurity job they have to do. And if the, the demand comes down, well, these VMs are released uh, in the customer data centers to do some other jobs, for example. This is one of the, the products that we've built together and we are demonstrating. The second one is a, a, um, a feature of that is that we can process, oh by the way, this is, uh, is able to scale all the way up to 6.5 terabits per second. I'll repeat that, 6.5 terabits per second. This is uh, uh, unheard of and this is, uh, I think, one of the interests of, uh, of Fortinet is working with NoviFlow. We already have developed uh, not only the, uh, the network print system, but all the O&M features that you demand as a customer to be deployed in, uh, in real world. So, uh, so that's, the, that's the, uh, the base. And the second uh, option that we developed is a carry grade net. Again, same idea. We can scale uh, the carry grade net analysis up to 1.6 terabit per second per much. So very powerful, very powerful solutions to meet this, this raising demand which you talked about. This, uh, this literally a wave of attacks coming more and more. So you mentioned some customers by name, Telstra for example, CEO to CEO conversations. Telstra's been around for a long time as the organization expands digitally and we talked about a minute ago as, as the attack surface. What are some of the conversations that you're having with the C-suite about security. It's not just talking to you know, network security admins, right? What are those conversations that you're having with the CEO and the C-suite that are, where they're saying to you, these are my business problems, Dominique. Help us solve these yeah. business problems. Well, it's, it's, it comes to two words, basically. It's scale and or slow uh, flexibility. It comes to that. Simple as this, so they, they are struggling to, to see how they can cope with the, uh, especially the ones that are virtualizing, because you end up, uh, imagine the model is that you go from a, a very powerful appliance, and once you virtualize this appliance, you might end up with 30 different servers, you know, running in parallel, you have to have load balancers in front of it. That makes for a very complex and very expensive solution. So that's, that's how they're searching for, well, how can we reduce the complexity for example, uh, one of the uh, advantages of, of our product working side by side with Fortinet, since we work at 6.5 terabits per second, we do some of the pre-processing of the traffic before it hits the, uh, the virtualized uh, solution, the, the FortiGate. So for example, we have uh, built some uh, blacklist, whitelist. We can do also the load balancing. No need to install some additional load balancing. You can have that as a kind of a black box, I get that does all the required feature to increase the, the scaling of those, uh, those combined solutions. And the, 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 second, uh, the second part, the flexibility, you got to be able to evolve your solution in time as these attacks are evolving. Now, our product is built from bottom up and it's built on an infrastructure, typically white boxes, that are running chips that are programmable by us. So the software, the NOS as it's called, is complemented by some uh, very easy to use uh, uh, porting layers, if you like. So uh, the Fortinet uh, solution can be easily adapted to this platform. And, uh, and that's how we can achieve this kind of throughput. And in fact, I will tell to your viewers that uh, we already have built live demos of those solutions in the, the Sofia Antipolis lab in France, uh, the labs of Fortinet, where we we're doing uh, demos for the, uh, for the customers of those solutions. So if I'm a Telstra though, and you said speed and flexibility, uh, scale yeah. rather, the other scale S word. Scale and flexibility, yeah. Scale and flexibility. What are some, how does my business, what am I looking to achieve? Am I looking to scale to X number of users, X number of regions? How, does, how is that measured from say a Telstra's perspective as a big business impact that NoviFlow and Fortinet are helping to, them to achieve? Yeah, the, uh, it's really all dimensions. Uh, we have some challenge uh, just by handling the raw volume of traffic sometimes. Some customers are, are pumping terabits of traffic between one country and the other, so that's one. And, uh, but it's also geography because your attack can come in any 
anywhere in your network, the, the periphery or inside your network. So you have to be able to, in a, in a centralized way, once you detect there's an attack, you have to be able to respond in an um, instant time. And that's how we can do with our programmable uh, infrastructure. You can actually reprogram those uh, routing tables. You can take some mitigation action. For example, some of, put some of the bad traffic on the blacklist. If you've looked at it, perhaps you can put it on a white list for a certain amount of time. Don't, don't look at it over and over, just wait maybe a little bit. Those kind of, uh, of measures to alleviate the load. So it, in fact, it's worked more intelligently with the raw volume of traffic that comes to you. So this is one of the, the real advantages of SDN, Software Defined Networking, applied to a cybersecurity uh, problem. What are some of the other industries that you are seeing that have potential to, to dramatically benefit from software defined networking and cybersecurity, knowing that, hey, the threat landscape is um, exponentially growing. Yes, we've got tools like AI and machine learning, which we'll talk about later on the program today with respect to 40 Guard Labs, for example. But of course, so do the attackers have access to utilize artificial intelligence to create yeah. even smarter uh, attacks. But some of the, from your perspective, what are some of the other industries that are really right to take advantage of SDN and cybersecurity practices? You know, I, I think all industries are moving to data. There's no exception. I was talking to some guy an entrepreneur in Montreal uh, yesterday is doing farming, but it's high-tech farming with several layers. It's all based on AI, it's all based on data. Even those industry, the, the farming industry, you think that's maybe. So every industry will rely on data, and that means it will rely on a network. And it all comes down to the network. You got to be able to build a, a cybersecurity uh, network-ready fabric from the bottom up so that your network is, is uh, one of the key features is actually stop the attacks. And that doesn't matter in which industry you are. I think they, you can think about the industry where you have vast volumes of uh, data, they will be most likely the first one to, to take benefit of these. Uh, you know, you talk about countries before, I mean this is one, uh, it's not an industry, but it's certainly where you process a vast amount of, of traffic. So they're taking advantage of our technology, for example. And uh, so, but I think it will be, probably most of the industry will be affected by that shorter or later. And hopefully sooner rather than later, considering how fast all of these opportunities, good and bad, are growing. One of the things Fortinet talked a lot about this morning during this session, and in some of the press releases, is this growth that they've experienced, growing 20% year on year from last year, 1.8 billion in revenue, over 385,000 customers. You're one of the Fabric Ready partners of which there are 57, so a lot of growth, a lot of potential. What excites you as the head of Novi Flow and your recent and developing partnership with Fortinet for 2019 and beyond? Where are you going to latch on to that growth trajectory? Absolutely, absolutely. Well, you know, when you mention the high volume of traffic, that plays to our cards. So the market is actually coming where we are. Uh, we have our, uh, our product runs at 6.5 terabits per second, and that's today, because we have, of course, some plans to move to 12 terabits and so forth. So for us, it's exciting because we, we feel we have the right uh, scaling platform and the right programmability. So our customers, Fortinet customers, together with us can start with the existing very powerful platform, but should that evolve, they'll be able to move to the new level of software, new capacity gradually over time. So that's very exciting for us. And what about some of the announcements that came out this morning, over 300 new features added, for example. That's a tremendous amount of innovation yeah. since last year's Accelerate. Yeah, well, you see, the, these features need to also have the, the, the right, uh, I would say, filtered level of data to so be able to do it more efficiently, and that's where we come in. We're not, in fact, a cybersecurity company. We are really complementing the, the product of Fortinet by playing upstream and doing a pre-filtering controlled by the policy management of the Fortinet uh, equipment, but nevertheless, taking up some of the load of it so that the equipment can be more efficient. But just as an example, uh, I read in a magazine a couple of days ago that Google is building a, a 250 terabyte cable between North America and Europe. Think about that. It's, it's mind-boggling, it's three times the Library of Congress per second. 
And those are the, the kind of volume of data that you see coming. So suddenly 6.5 terabits per second, doesn't sound so big, does it? But in fact, that's the world we're in today. And we're lucky at NoviFlow, we invested early on in the software layer that runs on top of these extremely powerful white boxes, and we're taking advantage of it with okay. Fortinet. Got to deliver that scale, that flexibility, and it sounds more and more like speed. Dominique, thank you so much for stopping by theCUBE and joining me on the program today, talking about NoviFlow, what you're doing with Fortinet, and what excites you about the year ahead. It was a pleasure, Lisa, thank you very much. Mine as well. I want to thank you for watching theCUBE. Lisa Martin live on theCUBE from Fortinet Accelerate 2019 in Orlando. Thanks for watching.